What's up everybody? I am getting back into freelance design and I wanted to answer a few questions and kind of show you what I'm doing right now to get that process started. So as many of you know, I have was a designer, a freelance designer, probably about 12 plus years ago. And I did it for a period of almost 10 years. And I dealt with thousands of clients. Most of them were like identity-based clients. And I got hugely burned out and I transitioned to teaching, which is what I've been doing for, you know, like the last 12 or so years exclusively. So it's been a long time since I've been an active designer in the industry with clients. And the past few years, and I've, you know, some of you know this as well, I, I've been really struggling with content ideas on this channel. After 1300 videos, it's like, holy shit, there's just only so much you can cover. So I've been struggling the past couple years and also the views have kind of decreased as well. So I've been on like a deceleration ever since I released the big UI UX course back in like 2021, 2022. And so, you know, I tried different things to kind of combat this, you know, I was like, oh, I'll try this indie hacking thing. And, you know, it didn't really work out. I, my heart wasn't into it enough. And so what I decided, uh, and this is months ago is, you know what? I understand what the missing part of the puzzle is, and that is I need to get back into design work. That's only going to help the design business because then I'm gonna have real world fresh context on what it's like to be a modern designer. So I wanted to show you, I, you know, some of the projects that I'm gonna be including in my portfolio. And these projects, some of them, are the monthly course-based projects I've been releasing. So for instance, this green thumb one, I released this as a course, but yes, I'm actually gonna put this in my portfolio. Um, there's the other one, the Project All Time High, which is an experimental UI with Unicorn Studio and Rive. I'm gonna stick that in there. And then also uh, last month's course, which was skeuomorphic projects in Rive. So these are three different projects I'm gonna be adding in my portfolio. So one of the first places that I'm going to build my portfolio um, in terms of external sites are Contra, Contra.com. They are kind of like the modern design marketplace, uh, the modern dribble, if you will. Uh, as you can see, I'm already building out my projects here. Um, of course, I'm gonna be adding more. I'm gonna be reworking some of these thumbs, but as you can see, there's a lot of movement here. I haven't yet added any services and I'm not taking clients from there yet, but if you wanna give me a follow, go ahead and do that. There's also Dribble. I have an old Dribble account and I haven't really posted to it regularly in a million years. All these projects that you see here are old as heck. Uh, and so I'm gonna just syndicate my, con my content right there as well even though you know it's kind of like dribbles it kind of been uh, not quite as popular among you know like freelance based designers in, in the later years i'm just going to do it anyways and post it there and then of course i have my own site that i'm going to be building and you're looking at the uh, kind of hero section i literally just designed this like two days ago um in figma and i decided i'm going to operate under the name soul pixel soulpix.com px and Basically, this is not just gonna be a portfolio. This is gonna be a full-fledged service with uh, ordering right on the site, as well as uh, a custom client management portal, uh, authentication, all that good stuff in the back end. And that's because that's how my original site was back 12 plus years ago when I was dealing with freelance clients back then. I, I built a PHP and MySQL and it worked wonderful. In fact, most people who ordered from me didn't contact me first. They would just order right on the site and everything, they were onboarded automatically. They entered their details. There's revision request rounds. There is the ability to pay for more revisions. I had all that stuff worked in. And I want to kind of do a similar approach, but different, obviously, a modernized approach uh, now, you know, with my new business. And so what I want to do is I offer basically flat project based pricing. And I'm also going to experiment possibly with retainer, uh, monthly retainer slots, maybe one or two of those just to kind of see and test the waters there. And I want to do some really unique things. Like, for instance, you know, if I have my own uh, client management system built, I, after a project's completed, I could do something like have AI summarize it and create automatic case studies that I can then review and publish right on the site. Um, I could do cool stuff like, you know, a real time ETA estimate based on the project type, based on my previous projects that were in the system. So I think doing really cool niche ideas like this, and I have a lot of other ones, like I wanna do a real-time studio feed in here, like if I'm active in, this, in the studio, it'll turn it on. 
weird ideas like that, I really want to kind of take this to the next level. And the purpose of this is to document it and to show all of you that if I practice what I've preached here, then you can be successful, hopefully as I have been successful in launching a new kind of design business on my own. And I think that's what's gonna be really exciting for me because it's gonna circle back to the education business. And I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna be able to pull on all these projects that I'm actively working on um, in order to create videos and education content around that. And especially the projects I'm gonna allow in the back end, you know, yes, you can use the, you know, the, the client can specify whether or not I can use their project to, you know, teach stuff. And there might be a built-in audience option because I'm gonna be dealing with a lot of tech-based companies and my audience might be beneficial to them. Uh, they, they, you know, they might be the target demographic. So there's a lot of cool ideas I'm going to try and I'm super excited and I'm super focused now on building this out and going into this direction and then also showcasing it all with you. So hopefully you follow up, follow me on Contra, follow me. I'm going to link all this stuff in, in uh, the description. I'll follow you guys as well. And I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.